In this video, I'm going to show you seven common series shortcut issues plus how to fix them. I've personally experienced all of these issues in my smart home and maybe you have too. Starting off with common issue number one is that Siri will give you a pop-up when you first open up a shortcut. If you're just starting out with a smart home or with Siri shortcuts, whenever you open up a Siri shortcut for the first time, you will get a message saying that this shortcut can't be open because security settings don't allow untrusted shortcuts. This is a safety measure put in place by Apple to protect you from installing shortcuts that could damage your phone. If you don't disable this, then you'll only be able to install shortcuts from the gallery in the shortcuts app. So to fix this, open up settings, scroll down to shortcuts, then enable the allow untrusted shortcuts. It will ask you, are you sure you want to enable this? Tap allow, then enter in your passcode if you have one. And now whenever you tap on a shortcut link, it'll show you what the shortcut is called. And whenever you scroll down, it will show you what is inside that shortcut. And at the very bottom is a red add untrusted shortcut button. Tap that and it'll add the shortcut to your library. Common issue number two is that Siri will say there is a problem with the connection whenever you try to run a shortcut. Bathroom on. Sorry Adam, I'm having problems with the connection. Check that your iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network as this HomePod. And this means that my phone is not on the same Wi-Fi network as my HomePod mini. Now the easiest fix is to, you know, just turn your Wi-Fi on and you're good to go. But that can be frustrating if you're not near your phone or don't know where your phone is. So then you have to go find your phone. And at that point, you might as well just run the shortcut yourself. So here are four quick ways to easily automate this process. You could use a geolocation shortcut that automatically connects your phone to Wi-Fi whenever you get home. But this does not always work fast enough or it may not recognize where you are. Automation idea number two, a super cheap alternative to this is to use a NFC tag in your car. So whenever you put your phone up to it, it can unlock your door and turn on the Wi-Fi on your phone so your phone will connect to your Wi-Fi. Automation idea number three is that you can actually tell Siri just to turn your Wi-Fi back on. Automation idea number four is that if you're at home and need to disconnect from your Wi-Fi and then you forget to turn it back on, you could create a shortcut on your home screen or put a widget on the today view to, to turn on the Wi-Fi with just a tap. If you want to see my favorite series shortcut hacks, then like this video and I'll be sure to make it for you guys. Common issue number two is that you receive a notification whenever a shortcut runs. When you run a shortcut using a NFC tag, you'll get a notification that says it's running your shortcut, but this can be annoying and can clutter your notification center. Here's how to turn the notifications off. Normally you go to settings, notifications, and choose the app and then turn off the notifications from here. But for some reason, the shortcut Shortcuts app is not here in this list. So there's a different way to turn the notifications off. A couple icons under the notification section, you'll see screen time. You do have to have screen time turned on in order for this to work. You'll see a section for see all activity. You can choose either week or day, just whenever you have last received a shortcut notification. Scroll down to the very bottom. If you see, see more, tap on that until you see shortcuts. And you'll notice that whenever you tap on it, nothing happens. So to get this to work, you have to wait a couple of seconds until the arrow icon pops up and then eventually the arrow will come up then you'll be able to select and turn off the notifications from here so now whenever you try to use a nfc tag to run a shortcut you won't receive a notification this fixes the running your shortcut automation but it does not fix the check mark banner pop-up whenever you run a shortcut or open an app on your on your home screen there is a separate process for this and that's common issue number three is that you will receive a check mark banner alert at the top whenever you run a Siri shortcut from your home screen. Unfortunately, there's not an option in the notification settings to turn this notification off, so you do have to create a Siri shortcut to turn off this alert. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Now this will only work if you are trying to open up an app using a Siri shortcut from your home screen. I have not found a way to disable alerts whenever you're running a shortcut that does not open up an app from the home screen. To remove it for opening apps, open the shortcuts app, tap the automation tab, and then tap the plus. Choose create a personal automation, then scroll towards the bottom to app. And what we're gonna do is tell Siri what to do whenever this app opens. You can choose just one or multiple apps. Tap done, then select the is open box and tap next. For the actions, it doesn't really matter what you choose as long as it's something that you don't use because this will run every time you run your shortcut. In this example, I don't use assistive touch. So I'm going to type in touch and then set assistive touch to off and then disable ask before running and tap done. And the shortcut now won't show me a banner or a check mark at the top whenever it opens up the app. 
Common issue number four is that Siri does not run your Siri shortcuts that are on your phone whenever you tell her to via voice. I have a light in my bathroom that doesn't work with HomeKit but does support Siri shortcuts so I had to create a shortcut to tell Siri to turn the light on or off and to control the brightness. And since Siri shortcuts run locally through an app on a phone and not through a home hub like an Apple TV, iPad, or HomePod mini, if you tell Siri to run a Siri shortcut that is on your phone, she may give you this message. Bathroom on. Before I can help with that, you'll need to enable personal requests. This means that Siri does not have access to the shortcuts that are on your phone. To easily fix this, tap the house icon, tap home settings, tap your name, and then choose personal requests. And enable it for all of the home pods that you want, and then go all the way back and tap on done, and that's it. Bathroom on. Done. This is great, but it does not make it easy for everybody to control your non-HomeKit compatible devices with Siri. And this leads to common issue number five, and that's that Siri will not run a Siri shortcut whenever somebody else tries to say the same command. Whenever my wife or anybody else says the command that I say to turn off the bathroom light, Siri gets confused and doesn't know what to do since the shortcuts app is not on my wife's phone. Bathroom on. Sorry, that's not something I can do. To fix this, there are a couple of things that you need to do. The first thing is that you'll have to download the shortcuts app and the manufacturer app of the device on the other person's phone, and then send the shortcut to their phone. And the second thing you need to do is that you need to give them access to your home in the home app, and they'll have to enable personal requests in the settings as well. And Siri will look at my wife's phone for that shortcut, and the light will turn on or off. Bathroom on. That's done. Sarah. This is definitely not the easiest solution and it's kind of annoying, but this is currently the only way that you'll be able to get multiple people to control your non HomeKit compatible devices with Siri. And common issue number seven is that sometimes Siri can control the wrong device. I have a non HomeKit smart plug called Fan and I use shortcuts to control it and I have another smart plug that works with HomeKit also called Fan. But whenever I tell Siri Fan on, she turns on the non HomeKit one. So if you want a non HomeKit smart plug to turn on your fan, you can say something like turn the hurricane on and your smart plug will turn on. And whenever you say fan on, she'll turn on the HomeKit ones. And what I've noticed is that sometimes Siri shortcuts will trump the device names in the home app. And this will take a little bit of trial and error to get your commands right. Let me know some Siri shortcut issues that you guys have ran into in the past before and how you fix them down in the comments below. And thank you for watching.